And as this major change was taking place in American health care, we've heard very little from the doctors. So we asked Dan Harris to sample their opinions across the country and find out what they like about the bill and what they fear about the bill. And here's Dan. Dan, good evening. We've been talking, as you mentioned, to doctors all over the country. And while many, if not most of them, like this new law, there are some serious reservations. Hello again. Late today in Michigan, Dr. Lee Green, a primary care physician, was seeing patients in his office and telling us how having millions more people covered by health insurance will help frontline doctors like him prevent more serious illnesses down the line. There are a lot of folks out there who will be coming in more regularly. They'll be able to come see me and I'll be able to you know, provide care for them early. Meanwhile, in Atlanta, Dr. Wendy Wright was checking in on a patient who's just had a brain procedure and telling us that she's worried that with so much demand about to come for health care, the government will have to cut back on how much it pays out for the kind of high-priced, super-specialized care that she provides. People will die, and these are the people that I have to face every day, and I'm going to have to be the ones that tell their families, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to do that for your child. I think that's very unlikely. Uh, I, I really don't see any likelihood of people who need acute care getting any less of it. What the doctors do agree on is that with millions of newly insured people flooding into the system in roughly four years, there is now a critical race on to begin the lengthy process of training an entire generation of new primary care doctors right away. There's already a shortage because young doctors often opt for higher prestige, higher paid specialties. Look what happened in Massachusetts when they passed health care reform. New patients now wait 44 days to see a primary care physician. That's the longest wait time in the country. The new federal law does try to encourage doctors to go into primary care by giving them some bonuses and even helping with their student loans. Is that enough to get more people into primary care? No. It's the beginning, but... Uh, this is really uh, just a fraction of what is needed. That doctor there says what we need is a national effort like the Manhattan Project to get more doctors into primary care. It has been done before, he says. In the 1950s, facing a doctor shortage, Congress funded many new medical schools, doubling the number of doctors in this country. But still, it's got to be a Manhattan Project if it's going to work. Huge undertaking. Thanks, Dan.